That's my neighbor. It's raining. The umbrella over the galley. Close the galley, because that wouldn't keep that rain out. In fact, what I was afraid of, a lot of water coming in underneath here. That's all right. I'm inside here with the air conditioning. And it's just a little minute shower. That's all. Inside the Eskimo. You can see over here by where the windows with water up on them. You just have to protect these corners. Don't put anything underneath them. Like her bed. I gotta move her bed real quick. That corner's fine. And far enough away from my desk far enough away from those windows where I won't be good way. Let me just move her bed real quick. Let me just let me just clarify about rain inside the Eskimo. It's uh, the fabric is not letting rain through. The fabric's fine. Um, so it's not like porous all over. The vulnerability is in the windows. So when the water runs down the side, that's, that's not watertight. As you can see. So you just gotta not put anything in the corners. Trying to be able to work right here because I'm in the middle. The air conditioner's in the middle. We're all, we're just sharing the middle space. Adequate for us. Okay, it's still raining out. I see a little bit of sun. Maybe it'll come get a little break here. Forecast is for more rain. But now that we've had more rain coming in, I'm seeing more leaks around the seams. So. As soon as I get a break here, I'm going to have to put the overcover on. Still going to leak around the windows, but at least I'll have a little bit drier area in here. And this is not the tent's fault. It's not advertised as rainproof. It's just how we modify it to use it. It's, it is an awesome tent. See a little over there where the water's coming in, running along the wall. Still gives me safe space, but I will put the, the overcover on there which I didn't do last night. Now we're getting our second morning rain shower. I have to take a break from writing my book. I installed the, the extra tarp over the top. One to keep the solar energy out, two to keep the rain off the top. And uh, it's, it's mostly working. Those tarps get worn out apparently very easily. I'm gonna have to do something else. Okay, over here in this corner, I had to tie an extra rope and run it down to the, the stakes, or in this case, the barbecue pit. Just this joint here kept coming undone. Um, you can see where the two brackets are. Uh, it's still flexing, I can't keep it tight. I'm gonna have to read up on that. I don't want to can't keep that tight. Think about deploying the center pole over here to tighten that down. I think I'll do that. I'm going to remove some of the stress. You going to stay in here, puppy? 